Kelly from Fantastic Freedom here. We just wanted to come and say hello to everybody today. <laughs> Eli doesn't get a whole lot of uh, camera time, so I decided to go ahead and, and put him on today. Um, you'll notice that our surroundings look a little strange, a little bit different. It's because we put up our tent in our yard uh, yesterday, right before we got a huge rainstorm. And so uh, we decided to go ahead and put the, the tent up because we aren't going to be able to do any real traveling right now. Uh, I wanted to actually also take the time to introduce you to our puppy dog. This is Eli. He is a purebred miniature dachshund. He's a great travel companion. Every single time we decide to go somewhere um, and he hears my keys, he runs to the door, runs outside and jumps in the van. So. He loves to go and see and do uh, and be with his people. That's that's his biggest thing. Yes, I'm introducing you to everybody. Mm-hmm. Because you're cute. Yes, you are. So he'll be going with us to different places. And, and when we start traveling in the van on a more permanent, permanent part-time basis, I guess you could probably say, then he will definitely be with us at the time. Because I think he's going to make a great um, watchdog something that you know he his ears are better than mine and if i'm sleeping deeply he doesn't sleep deeply so he'll be able to wake me up if something is going on anyway um i just wanted to tell you guys about what we have kind of planned to do and you know lake havasu is definitely on the agenda and on wednesday or thursday of next week um i'll be able to tell you indefinitely if we're going or not for now we're gonna camp in the front yard technically this is a backyard but it's the front of our house so and we were able to throw the tent up and it's been great um we sit in sit out here and and just relax and enjoy the weather because it's been really really nice since yesterday we got a, like a three hour rainstorm and for arizona that's that's amazing that's wonderful we really really needed it um for lake havasu let's see i just had a thought uh if we go, we're definitely going to be taking the tent with us because I've been having reservations about sleeping in the van with my son. You know, a lot of people would say, how could you possibly sleep in the bed with your 17 year old son? That's disgusting. That's like incest. I don't want to sleep in the same bed with him. I am uncomfortable with it. We thought about taking uh, sleep schedules so that one of us would be awake during eight hours and then the other person would sleep for eight hours. <clears throat> just so we wouldn't have to be in the same bed. But that doesn't give us a whole lot of time together to enjoy each other's company and things like that. But I don't want to sleep in the same bed as him. You know, boys who are going through puberty, like the last thing he needs is to be sleeping next to his mom. I could understand if he were two or three or even, heck, I could even understand if he was 10, then that wouldn't be so much of a problem. Uh, but once they hit 12 and 13, that's not a good idea. So we decided to bring the tent with us because I can still put the bed in here for me. And he has his blow up chair that turns into a bed that he can use and his sleeping bag and everything. So he'll definitely have a place to sleep. I'll have a place to sleep and we'll both be comfortable. I'm a little wary. People that we're going to be meeting in Lake Havasu, we don't know them. And we're not 100%, at least, okay, I'm not going to say Stephen. I am not 100% sure that being in a tent is the safest thing. So we're going to have to bring protection for ourselves. Um, just because we don't know, <clears throat> we don't know what to expect. I don't like to think that the people we will be meeting with are dangerous. But anything's a possibility. And I, because I'm a mom and because I'm bringing my child, I really don't feel like taking any chances. And Eli will be going, so he'll be able to hear at night when, you know, people are shuffling around and moving and and near the tent and things like that, so he can alert me at least. We will be taking the shower tent with the toilet and the shower sprayer bottle that we made, that we used over uh, the camping weekend a week and a half ago. That worked out really well, by the way. I, I have to say, that was, that was great. Emptying it, emptying the toilet wasn't fun. I will say that. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just next time bring an oxygen mask because you really need one. I'm going to end this video here and uh, edit and um, I will show you some of the things that we've got going on inside the tent.
asked by some people who know me, know that I am interested in this kind of a lifestyle. They've asked me questions like, well, what are you going to do with your time? You know, how are you going to keep yourself busy and keep from going crazy? Well, that's an easy answer. <laughs> I have some hobbies I can take with me. One of the things that I've been doing since I was 10 is crocheting. Um, I've gotten very good at it and my stuff is definitely professional level and I do sell my things. So having said that, that's going to be keeping me busy because that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to be doing to make money on the road. So that's going to keep me very busy. Also, I'm going to have my son Steven and my dog Eli with me. So that's going to be a lot too, you know, because we're going to be keeping each other company. Um, you know, cooking or making meals is something you do when you're traveling. Um, you know, maybe you want to go to a mall and walk around a mall. Uh, you'll meet up with people that are very uh, like-minded with you. You know, people on YouTube, they, they tend to meet up with each other. You have people on the road that you meet and that you, you camp with. So, you know, you're definitely not going to be alone. And I'll definitely not be alone. Um, I like to read books, so books would be a thing. And if we ever do get a TV, that might be a, a possibility at one point too. But I do know that I will not be bored. So, you know, I really don't want people to worry about what we're going to do when we're out and about and all that kind of thing because it's what you make it. Mm -hmm.